The theme this week is travel, as the Falmouth Commodores open their first of three consecutive road games right here at Veterans Field to take on the Chatham Anglers. Last week, the Falmouth Commodores defeated the Chatham Anglers 5-4 to claim their first victory of the 2022 season, and they will look to replicate that result tonight and start off the week on the right foot. Hi everybody, thanks so much for joining us on Opening the Door alongside Carter Bainbridge, today's play-by-play -play broadcaster, and Trey Redfield, today's color commentator, Logan Safaranko with you. And Carter, let's jump right into things. This past Sunday, we saw our first double header of the 2022 season. It was against the Orleans Firebirds at Gulf Fuller Field, and it wasn't the result the Doors were looking for. No, certainly not in either game. The Doors got a chance to score a few seemingly easy wins against the other last place team in the league. Instead, they fell both times against the Orleans Firebirds, scored a combined three runs on the afternoon. So that offense that heated up against Wareham a few nights ago, again a problem on that day. So with the off day in mind, the Doors are going to start scoring some more runs today. At least they hope so. Consistency is the big thing, especially when you're playing six days a week. And Trey, we'll go over to you when we talk about the importance of the off day. Yesterday, we enjoyed our off day, but for a player's perspective, what does the off day mean? Well, I mean, I can certainly say we enjoyed our off day going to Fenway. That was a lot of fun. But for the players, it's getting that chance to relax. It's like what we saw the, with the first off day of the season. The Commodores fell to 0-3. They had that off day. They came back with a victory. The off day is just an opportunity to regroup, do something else other than baseball, to find a way to have the players mesh together, whether that's going to the beach, whether that's working out with one another, whether that's doing anything together. It's a great opportunity to just slow down for a second, take your mind off baseball for a second as well, and now you can get back into the swig of things. It's a big road trip coming up here for the Commodores this week. Four of the five games this week will be on the road, and you mentioned taking a break from baseball. I don't think that's on anyone's mind right now because yeah. baseball is just eat, sleep, and breathe right now. And Carter, we're going to see a familiar arm because Grayson Hitt pitched against the Chatham Anglers last week at Gulf Fuller Field. Yeah, the door's hoping that history repeats itself today because left-hander Grayson Hitt was on the mound against the Chatham Anglers, was pretty solid in that game, only allowed one hit and two earned runs in three innings, struck out four, he did walk five, so the control has to be a little bit better today for Hitt, but his first appearance in about a week, again against this same Chatham team, hopefully they can replicate that result with another victory today. His second start of 2022, the left-hander from the University of Alabama. And Trey, the Chatham Anglers had some impressive pitching performances yesterday, but they got a guy who's pretty impressive today. Yeah, he's not that bad. His name's Will Carson from McLennan Community College. He had 14 starts and 15 appearances, Logan. The record was 9-1 and one with an ERA of 3.69. So the Commodores have a tough test today in a JUCO product that dominated in the NJCAA last season. A lot of JUCO products tend to do very well in summer ball in whatever league it may be. But Trey, today is a new day. Carter, today is a new work week. But what are today's Trey's takes? Oh, yeah, Trey Bo's takes. Well, it's, it's pretty simple. I'm going to do it again. It's got to hit the ball. Got to put the balls into play and find ways to get on base. We saw the Commodores be really successful on Saturday night at Wareham was because they found ways to work counts. There were so many 3-2 counts that the Commodores won and lost, but also it led to guys, you know, getting aboard with walks and then guys being driven in. Sometimes you got to play small ball to win games. And if the Commodores do that today, they'll take whatever they can get. Knowing they're two and six on the year and they're struggling right now, you got to find ways to get on base and put balls in play. That's the only way you're going to win, Logan. That is the truth. The Falmouth Commodores last week did find their stroke in the long ball column. The Chatham Anglers hit their first home run yesterday of the season, and it was a grand slam. So it should be a fun matchup tonight. The Chatham Anglers play host to the Falmouth Commodores. First pitch at 7 p.m. Carter and Trey will have the call. I'll be providing updates on the field as well. And you've been listening to Opening the Door. We'll see you soon.